speak about the issue that we will talk about now, uh, to make a statement on the side, then you are mistaken. But unfortunately, the situation is such that I will have to state a great deal today, and it, and it will be incumbent upon you to listen to what I have to say. We are grateful to Mr. Dimistor for his briefing, as well as to Mr. Markram. The Russian Federation demands for this meeting to be held on the agenda item, threats to international peace and security. Insofar as we are deeply alarmed at the fact that in a number of capitals, above all in Washington, and uh, those blindly following it, London and Paris, there was a deliberate policy undertaken to stoke international tensions. The leadership of the United States, of the United Kingdom, and of France, without any justifications uh, and without considering the consequences, uh, have engaged in a confrontational policy against Russia and Syria, and they are prompting others to follow suit. A broad arsenal of methods is being leveraged, slander, insults, hawkish rhetoric, blackmail, sanctions, and threats to use force against the sovereign state. Well, Russia is being unpardonably threatened. The tone with which this is being done has gone beyond the threshold of what is acceptable even during the Cold War. Such boorishness against my country is something which your predecessors did not take the liberty to undertake. What is next? We recall a rhetorical question which the Russian president put forward in 2015 from the United Nations General Assembly to our Western partners, above all, the United States, uh, concerning their reckless geopolitical experiments in the Middle East. Do you understand now what you have done? And the response at that time hung in the air. But there is a response. No, you do not understand, just as you fail to understand what you are doing now. The lack of a clear strategy on any issue is appalling not just to us. It confounds not only us. This is confounding to the majority of those seated here. But they are de have decided not to openly put this forward to you, following you everywhere you go, regardless of what you, everything you touch, chaos is left behind in the brackish waters of which you try to take out fish something. But only mutant fish are being taken out. I will put another rhetorical question for, do you understand the dangerous threshold towards which you are bringing the world? One of the areas where there's hostility that is most stark, that is on Syria. The terrorists and extremists supported by external sponsors are enduring a defeat there. Let us recall that we are talking about those terrorists and extremists who you supplied, financed, and deployed in the country to oust a legitimate government. And now it is clear why this is causing hysteria among those who invested political and material capital in these dark forces. Recently, thanks to the efforts undertaken by Russia, in line with the implementation of Security Council resolutions, a large-scale operation has been undertaken to lift the siege of eastern Ghouta. Its residents, for a number of years, were forced to, to endure the mockery and torture of fighters. More than 150,000 civilians were evacuated from that Damascus suburb, a complete, a purely voluntarily, with the requisite security conditions being provided. Tens of thousands of them have already been able to return to the liberated areas, and many were met with their many met with their, their relatives. There has been no change in democratic uh, composition, which is being shouted about by supporters of the Syrian opposition, has occurred. These are lies. 
with the leaders of armed groups, there were difficult negotiations that took place. As a result, many of them left the areas they had occupied with full respect for guarantees for their safety. Incidentally, during these uh, transportation operations, uh, several attempts were undertaken to stage terrorist attacks when the militants attempted to to, uh, to put to to reach the buses with the Shahid belts. Other prefer to settle their status with the Syrian authorities. Thanks to presidential amnesty, they now will be able to return to civilian life, and subsequently it is possible they may enter the Syrian security forces. We are talking about implementation of a UN principle, demobilization, disarmament, and reintegration. However, this is a positive dynamic is not to the liking of some foreign sponsors uh, through Western countries were willing to take up any, any straw just to maintain a hotbed of terrorist resistance uh, at a striking distance from the Syrian capital. This for the fighters to continue to terrorize ordinary civilians, uh, to seize their food, and to request from the international, to beg of the international community that humanitarian assistance be delivered. Incidentally, they were not prepared to share medicine with ordinary civilians, as was shown in the inspection of the strongholds left behind by the fighters. As was the case in the past in eastern Aleppo, improvised uh, hospital facilities in basements were full of medicine, which, uh, as a result of sanctions, uh, Western sanctions, uh, were not provided to Damascus and other government-controlled areas. Also, large storage heights were found, as were the bodies of the corpses of people who had been subjected to torture. We are stunned at the scale of the tunnels that were being used by jihadists, and some of them, uh, 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 small trucks were able to freely move about. These, uh, these uh, surprising underground facilities brought together the positions of groups who were viewed by some as moderate, and they were linked to the strongholds of Jabhat al-Nusra. On 6 April, the new head of Jaysh al-Islam, uh, uh, following instructions of sponsors, uh, derailed the evacuation of the fourth a party of fighters from Duma and resumed the rocket and mortar firing against residential areas in Damascus. The firing targeted Meze, Meze 86, Ishal Vurur, Abu Rumana, and Omiyadov. Umayyad. According to official information, eight died, 37 civilians were wounded. Unfortunately, we failed to see statements from Western uh, capitals condemning the shelling of a historical uh, district of Damascus. The following day, 7 April, fighters accused the Syrian authorities uh, of uh, dropping barrel bombs with toxic substances. At the same time, the versions were being mixed up. Uh, there was, it was either called sarin, at times chlorine, or at times a mix of toxic, subs toxic gases. Based on a well-known scheme, these rumors were immediately taken up by those uh, financed by Western capitals. I'm referring to, uh, to um, NGOs and uh, the white ha helmets who are mendaciously acting under the cloak of, uh, of health professionals. Uh, and these reports were also taken up and transferred to media outlets. It behooves us once again to state that many of these uh, dubious opposition structures have a clear list of the email addresses of representatives of Security Council members, which shows that some of our colleagues uh, recklessly uh, approach, uh, with a reckless approach towards their status are leaking sensitive inter information to their protégés. Incidentally, all should recall the way that accidentally the white helmet put on the internet a uh, uh, video, video where which showed preparation for staging a so-called victim of an alleged attack perpetrated by the Syrian army. In 2011, the chemical serial began, and this continues to be shown to us with the calculation for each new episode to be more resonant than the one prior to it.
In Washington, London, and Paris, immediately conclusions were drawn, pinning blame on the Syrian authorities, or as they call it, the regime. Has nobody put the question uh, to themselves, why does Damascus need this? There were insults against the Syrian government. However, the Syrian leadership. However, the main burden of responsibility was pinned on Russia and Iran, and I think that this is hardly surprising to anybody at this point. Uh, now this has been done uh, based on current trends immediately without any investigation being conducted. On 8 April, the Syrian uh, troops uh, uh, sweeping through al shimu Al Shimuna near Duma found a homemade manufacturing area of Jaysh al Islam to manufacture chemical substances, artisanally. Uh, chlorine agents of German manufacture and special equipment were also discovered. In Istanbul, uh, the opposition journalist Assad Hamid, who is based, uh, put on his Twitter page uh, a video allegedly from the area of the incident. Uh, this uh, has, uh, probably from the White Helmets, uh, an unknown individual is uh, next to a handmade bomb with a chemical uh, which allegedly uh, which allegedly struck the bedroom of a building in Duma. All of this is accompanied by comments about another attack by the regime against civilians. Uh, the staged nature of this action is something of which there's no doubt the trajectory of the alleged uh, trajectory of the bombs is unnatural. This uh, entered, uh, this through, uh, fell through a roof and naturally, calmly fell into a bed without damaging that bed. A wooden bed without damaging the wooden bed clearly was placed there prior to preparation for the staging. And an interesting, uh, there's an interesting coincidence that uh, the chemical provocation in Duma on Saturday, 7 April, occurred immediately after the U.S. delegation at the Security Council. Uh, received instructions to convene for today, Monday 9 April, to convene expert level consultations on their draft resolution on the mechanism to investigate incidents with chemical weapons. The initial text today has far-reaching changes and revisions. In the under these uh, obscure under these obscure circumstances, of course, we need to get to the bottom of what is taking place. However, we need to do so in an honest objection, impartial way, without disregarding the principle of uh, presumption of innocence and by no means prejudging the outcome of the investigation. Despite the provocations, the Russian specialists continued their efforts to resolve the situation in eastern Ghouta. In afternoon, 8 April, Sunday, following a new agreement that was reached, uh, the evacuation of Jaysh al-Islam fighters resumed. Following the liberation of Duma from fighters, a Russian specialists were sent there, a specialist on radiological, chemical, and biological protection to collect evidence and information. They took soil samples, which, they, which showed the lack of nerve agent and chlorine-containing substances. Locals were, were, were uh, interviewed about the cessation of resistance to the fighters. Not a single local resident confirmed the chemical attack having taken place. Uh, a local uh, bo a hospital, uh, those, uh, th th there were no reports about symptoms from a toxic substance such as chlorine. Other medical facilities are not located in Duma. The bodies of the dead as a result of contamination were not found. Medical personnel and residents uh, have no information about their potential burial areas. Thereby, uh, the use of sarin and chlorine is not confirmed. Incidentally, the representatives of the Syrian Red Crescent refuted the statement allegedly made on their behalf on the delivery of assistance to victims of toxic gas. I call upon those who will speak against me slandering the regime to proceed from the premise that there was no chemical weapons attack. 
uh, Sweden draft oh, drew up a draft resolution to investigate the incident. In principle, in order to conduct an investigation, the OPCW needs no resolution. However, we are willing to consider this resolution. Uh, today, we propose that uh, what you envisage in your project, in your draft, be done. Let the OPCW, which uh, through the uh, technical, uh, the, the, the uh, Director General of the Technical Secretariat, uh, Mr. Zumduk, stated a willingness to get to the bottom of what took place, let it immediately, tomorrow, uh, tr uh, fly to Damascus. There, the Syrian authorities and Russian troops will provide conditions uh, to travel to the area of the alleged incident for them to familiarize themselves with the situation. Incidentally, this is what President Trump and other Western leaders called upon us to undertake. As for the possibility of a chemical attack being a, poss a possibility, this was repeatedly warned about by the Syrians at the Russian Center for the Reconciliation of Opposing Sides. It was stated that in order to uh, to take a film of uh, a, a chemical attack, and I put this in quotes, the necessary equipment has already been brought in. We, too, made the relevant statements of the Security Council. You've heard these warnings. You've heard, but deliberately ignore them insofar as they do not align with the doctrinal views of those who sleep with and see in the elimination of a legitimate government in another Arabic country, Arab country. Still, what is not being looked into is the, the fact that a significant number of chemical weapons were discovered November, December 2017 in Syrian territory that had been liberated from fighters at terrorist storage sites. In Zaharia and al in Hama province, 21 ton containers were discovered. More than 50 munitions were found, which contained toxic chemicals. In Tel Adli, Idlib province, 24 tons of toxic chemicals were discovered, and this is believed to be chlorine. At the storage site in Madamiya, uh, 30 kilometers uh, northeast of Damascus, uh, uh, 240 and 160 millimeter ca caliber munitions were found. Plastic uh, canisters were found with phosphorus, uh, with phosphorus substances and compounds. In uh, the area of Aserita, in uh, Italy province, an industrial complex uh, was found for the synthesis of uh, various toxic substances. 54 chemical munitions were found with 44 chemical containers were found, and these could be used uh, for the manufacture of toxic substances. From the beginning of this year alone, four instances were reported of fighters using toxic chemicals uh, from uh, posi against positions where government troops are located in Suja and El Mshaif. More than 100 Syrian troops were hospitalized. Three March, uh, when Hazrama and Aftris were liberated in eastern Ghouta. Fighters from uh, government troops uh, discovered in a tunnel an underground uh, artisanal manufacturing site to, to make chemical munitions of, of a handmade nature. And this is far from a full list. It points to the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the wrongdoings and abuses by the irreconcilable opposition. However, uh, the OPCW's experts being sent there to identify evidence is not something which we see people eager to do. We demand that OPCW co verify all of those areas. Access is being is, can be provided. Also, information is surfacing that at Tanf, the camp, American instructors, uh, uh, instructors uh, trained a uh, number of groups of fighters uh, to stage provocations with chemical weapons used to create a pretext for a strike. It was clear to us that the attempt uh, to shelter terrorists uh, and at the same time to, uh, uh, to punish the regime so hated by some Western capitals will sooner or later be undertaken. Speaking heads on television screens uh, sought to repeat last year's, uh, last year's uh, attack against Syria.
last year's strike. This morning, there were strikes, uh, missile strikes, against the Tifor airfield in Homs province. We are deeply troubled by such actions. Provocations in Duguma echo last year's incident in Han Shihun. The unifying moment uh, aspect is the fact that there's a planned nature of these attacks. Analysis of the U.S.'s operations prior to and after the incident in Han Chihun in April 2007 shows that Washington, ahead of time, prepared for its operation. The U.S. Uh, uh, Porter and Ross dis naval destroyers uh, from 4 to 7 April last year, that is uh, when the toxic substance was used in Han Shehun before the uh, strike against the Shirat Air Base, were already present in the Mediterranean waters where they were engaged in planned operations. They did not enter the ports uh, where an exchange of munitions could have been uh, taken place by increasing the number of cruise missiles. Inter alia, 4 to 5 April, the Porter and destroyer was located southeast of Sicily, and the Ross Naval Destroyer was in passage from the Rota Naval Base in the area southern, more south of Sardinia. Later, 6 April, an expedited movement of both naval destroyers, destroyers were reported in the, uh, in the firing positions south, more southwest of Cyprus. From there, on 7 April, they conducted a mass strike against the Shirat airfield. At the same time, the number of Tomahawk missiles that were launched, 40, 59 units, surpassed the overall munitions for two naval destroyers if they had actually been engaged in the anti-missile defense operations that had been assigned to them. And for that purpose, only 48 units were necessary. Thereby, U.S. naval vessels, even prior to the chemical incident in Han Shehuna, entered military service at uh, the with strike, fit for strike equipment that is, uh, of an increase of cruise missiles that were more than that were necessary for the anti-missile defense, and this could attest to prior planning by Washington of an act, a strike against Damascus. The fake news on Saturday from Duma are geared inter alia towards drawing attention of society away from the Skripal case, which was muddled up by London and uh, uh, pooling and uh, throwing on Russia completely unconfirmed accusations uh, and with the aim of uh, pooling solidarity to build an anti-Russian alliance. Now the English are stepping away from a transparent investigation and putting forward specific, uh, specific responses for the questions uh, put and at the same time they are sweeping up their tracks. During the Security Council meeting, 5 April, on the Skripal case, we cautioned that an attempt to unjustifiably place blame on us of having had a hand in the Salisbury incident was linked to the Syrian chemical dossier. Yesterday, this issue oh, saw new interesting developments. Uh, for the moment, the UK Foreign Minister Boris Johnson continues to uh, uh, disclose the things against Russia and attempt to be witty, and here is the following pearl. Experts of a British, na British naval expert south of Cyprus uh, uh, intercepted on the day of Skripal's poisoning, uh, on the day of Skripal's poisoning, so intercepted reports from Damascus suburbs to Moscow, and this is what Times is reporting. It contains the following sentence. The phrase, uh, the message has been delivered. The parcel has been delivered, and two individuals uh, successfully left. This uh, turns out to be part of the intelligence information provided by London to allies prior to the expulsion of Russian diplomats. However, is it not clear that there's an, un, uh, uh, an irrefutable uh, link here? Is that not clear to all? Syria, Russia, Salisbury. I, will t I would hinder to the British intelligence services, and I will do so without charge. Another powerful course. 
a step. Why not propose that Novichok, which is so liked now, was received, uh, this was reached Salisbury directly from Syria uh, by parcel uh, to cover up their tracks. This is complete mockery here. Ambassador Haley recently stated that Russia will never be a friend of the United States. And I wish to respond to that. Friendship is something which is both reciprocal and voluntary. One cannot force a friendship. And we are not uh, particularly keen to be friends with you. We are not begging to be friends with you. Well, what we want from you is, is, is really nothing. Uh, it's something that, that is normal, civilized relations, uh, which you arrogantly refuse, disregarding elementary uh, courtesy and basic courtesies. And you're misguided if you think that you have friends. You have uh, so-called friends of yours are only those who cannot say no to you. And this is the sole criterion for friendship in your understanding. Russia has friends. And unlike yourselves, we do not have adversaries. We do not view the world through that prism. And yes, international terrorism, that is our enemy. However, we continue to propose cooperation. This needs to be respectful and mutual cooperation. It needs to be geared towards uh, uh, re resolving real, not imagined problems. And you should be equally interested, equally as interested as we are in such cooperation. Ultimately, as permanent members of the Security Council, we bear the main responsibility for the maintenance of international peace and security. Uh, based uh, through the relevant channels, we already convey to the U.S that uh, armed force under mendacious pretext against Syria were at the request of the legitimate government of the country, Russian troops have been deployed, could lead to grave repercussions. We call upon Western uh, uh, politicians uh, to uh, scale down their hawkish rhetoric, to meaningfully consider possible repercussions, and to cease the reckless spillover of threats to global security. What military misadventures of the West bring about are well known to us if we consider the examples of Yugoslavia, Iraq, and Libya. And nobody has vested you with the power to act as, uh, act as uh, gendarmes as, as policemen of the world, and at the same time to act both as investigators, procurators, judges, and executioners. We call for you return to the legal fold to comply with the UN Charter and to jointly tackle problems that arise rather than attempting at each step to advance your egotistical geopolitical uh, g games. So all of the energy needs to be focused on support for the political process in Syria, to which end it is necessary to constructively pull the efforts of all influential players. Russia always stands ready to engage in such cooperation. To conclude, Mr. President, I wish to take this opportunity opportunity to request an open briefing of the Security Council on the outcomes of the UN assessment mission in Raqqa and the situation in the Rukban camp. As members of, we see the way uh, members of the commission attempting to create a smoke schooner on this issue, which is a result of their actions in Syria, including the operation to raise Raqqa to the ground through the bombings. No chemical provocations will detract attention from this, from what you have done. Thank you. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation for his statement. I now give the floor to the representative of the Netherlands. Thank you very much, Mr. President.